Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I want to introduce you to a material that makes it easy to formulate and then cold process an organic SPF 15 serum. Let me show you how it's made and introduce you to this material that makes the task so easy. This is the product we're going to be making today. As you can see, it's a beautiful serum consistency. You can see it's stabilizing the zinc oxide easily and the product itself rubs out really easily. It's got a beautiful serumy feel and no ghosting on the skin. Now in case you're wondering how stable this is, I've also freeze thaw tested this formula. Five cycles freeze thaw testing, which is a really good way to see if we're going to get separation or particle sediment. And as you can see, it's beautifully stable. There is no particle sediment on the bottom and it's still that beautiful free flowing serum consistency. Now the material that makes this easy is called Fluidy Feel Easy by Sepic. This is the material here. I have another material that makes my processing job easy, but there are also alternatives. This is XP65 Cocoa by Antaria. Now it's a zinc oxide dispersion with cocoa caprylate caprate. Now, if you can't get this particular material, that's okay. In the formula, just contact us, I'll give you the free formula. I have an alternative way of dispersing this material for you. But this product here makes it really easy to make an incredibly light product. And of course, dispersed means we get really even dispersion of the zinc oxide, so we don't get the ghosting, we get a really high SPF. So first of all, to make this product organic, I have over here organic lavender hydrosol and some water. And here I have glycerin and some Keltrol CGT. Now I'm using a, a good grade of xanthan gum here so that we don't get any stickiness or tackiness on application. I'm just going to slurry this and add this to the water phase to get a gel form first. So you can see I've created my gel first. Now here I have my zinc oxide dispersion. To this I'm going to add some Dermafil Sensolve. Now I'm picking a really light emollient here so the product does not feel greasy at all and also so that we get that really smooth dispersion onto the skin. It's got a really light finish. You hardly even know you're wearing SPF at all. And to this I'm going to just stir in the Fluidy Feel Easy. Now I'm going to high shear my water phase while I add my oil phase to it under high shear. I'm going to homogenize that until it's really smooth and homogenous and you'll see the emulsion form easily. Now once I can see my emulsion has formed, I add my actives. Now in this particular formula, I thought what would be a really good all-round active for this type of formula and its concept. Um, and I decided to use the Ephema by Sepic. Uh, this is not only an antioxidant to protect the skin when you use it, but it also has a cumulative antioxidant protection benefit and that repair function. So it's great in a daily sun protection product. The story matches in perfectly. I'm also going to add some antioxidant and I'm going to add my preservative. Now in this particular formula because I have the zinc oxide the product will always self-regulate to a pH around 7 to 7.5 and because of that I need to use a preservative that is acceptable in an organic formula uh, but still covers well above pH of 8. So I'm using the Natacide because it covers such a broad pH range in my organic formula. 
And that's why I've also used the lavender hydrosol so that it companions with that aroma quite nicely. Now I'm just going to stir this to make it homogenous. And there I have my finished serum. That easily, because it's cold processable with the Fluidy Feel Easy. Using the Fluidy Feel Easy, you can stabilize your oils in an emulsion. And in this case, you've seen me stabilize particles and oils in an emulsion. And you can even use it to stabilize oils and make sprayable emulsions. And of course, it's a green, naturally derived material. I use the Ephema in this formula because it companioned nicely with the daily SPF protection story, but you could use any number of actives in this formula. If you're gonna be making it organic, just make sure that your actives comply with organic standards before using them. Well, there you go. That is how easy it is to make an organic SPF 15 serum using some materials that make your job really easy. Now, if you're not in the position to purchase large pack sizes of these materials, contact your Sepik supplier. They might have some small packs for you. And of course, you can join our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group and post there what you're looking to split packs. And there's sure to be someone near you that can split a pack with you. So you can both take advantage of some of these fantastic materials. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.